Alright, the time has come for Contra Operation Galuga. I played this, streamed a little bit, and got in my ready for this challenge. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do this video here and talk about what I feel about this game as we go along. Um, this is a run and gun game with lots of interesting things. First off, the options. Uh, you have some nice thing here. I've turned down the audio effects to kind of get more of the audio going, the music, which is both good and bad. A lot of voice acting here because it doesn't really add for me, but you know, if you like that, there is an option. Uh, it's uh, you can change the resolution, but it's pretty much I don't know. It's it's a bit weird. Uh, I guess this works, but only for like borderless full screen window. You can make it in window mode, but you have to press Alt Enter. But it's, yeah, this is lacking graphical options. You have no settings for anti-aliasing or like bloom or for brightness, gamma. You know, you have nothing but the, the resolution here. So it's best to just keep the resolution at your screen's native. Press Alt Enter if you wanna, you know, play in window mode. Um, 360 or 8th direction. 360 is amazing so i'm gonna keep that remapping full remapping support here I haven't tried with keyboard i'm gonna use my controller here information how to play some lanyards english um you have a perk shop i have input to let's see Oh, wait, I forgot. Right, so... Oh, here we go. Here we go. This, if, if you input the Konami code, you get this one that you can buy. Um, I have... There we go. This is the one that I have okay. bought, heat, bought previously here. You get credits to buy stuff by playing the game in various settings. Uh, Speedrunner mode is weird. It just adds a timer to the top right corner of the screen, but it seems useless because you have a time at the end of stages or at the end of the game. So this was the most useless thing I uh, use credits for. It's 15,000 credits and credits are slow to get. Your best way to get credits is to turn it on the absolute easiest mode and just complete the game. You can do that in like 40 minutes or less. And you get like 6,000 credits. That's the best way to do it. And then just farm it, farm it, farm it. This is not a good thing. Like, the, the perks are interesting. But the credit system is bad. Um, how you, you get so little. Like, I completed this on hard mode. Uh, one hit kill, I think. I think I used a few perks. And I got like 3,000 credits. And it took me about one and a half, two hours. And like, are you shitting me? And I can run this on easy mode with perks and everything, and I get 6,000 credits in 45 minutes? What the frick is going on? So, the, the perks you can get are cool, interesting. It, how you get credits is absolutely trash. In my most humble opinion, it sucks ass. It's just a forced way of you to replay the game, and that's not, you know, what you want. You should just replay the game because you want to get better. Um... But yeah, I would, would like to farm to unlock this one. Uh, so far, the the, uh, the the characters are interesting that I've unlocked, but it's nothing too special. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna farm just to get the music. Because th that is gonna be the most fun thing. The music is the most fun for me. This could definitely be an interesting, just fun to play around, but not necessary, because you have unlimited uh, continues, so yeah. But yeah, in the extra mode you can use the speedrun mode, mo speed mode. You know, I can I can start with the speedrun mode to show it off, it doesn't matter. See, it's, it's like arcade mode, but you have a timer in the top right corner. So yeah, that, that's the only difference between arcade mode and the speedrun mode. So I'm gonna start the speedrun mode here. Uh, for fun. You have challenges you can use, I've done a few of them. Uh, if you like it, that could be cool. Get through a stage as fast as possible. A part of a stage. With like only like the your base gun. Um, 
some tougher course again with maybe a fixed gun. Um, you will only be able to use a fixed gun here to get through at certain stages. Use a boss with just like a fixed amount of ammo. Uh, for me, it's not really anything that I'm probably not gonna go on. It is interesting to see what the hell you might unlock. But uh, probably not worth it. And the sad thing is, this would be more fun if you got like five or ten thousand credits to really like boost you want to do this. But you get hundred credits. Like this takes can take. They are challenging, right? And take quite a lot of time. But I get hundred credits. What is the in incentive to really push myself if you're not like someone that loves stuff like this? You don't get anything for doing it. You are much better off just farming easy mode arcade arcade runs. 6,000 credits in 45 minutes. And if you, you know, depending on how long it takes you to complete this, you get 100 credits. Deep off, man. Like, it's cool that you have this, but like, the reward are bullshit. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's bullshit. Give me like high XP reward. Give me lots of credits. They really want me to like, even if this is not what I mainly like, but like, give me like, hey, you complete it, you get 5,000 or 10,000 XP, like something at least. Credits, XP credits, the same thing. But all right, let's stop with all of this and let's just go into this. Uh, oh, oops, sorry. I go full screen. I'm using NVIDIA RTX uh, HDR upscaling here. Um, you know what? No, I think I can play this in window mode. I was thinking, go in full screen. So I'm gonna use this mode, but this is, I'm not gonna do the story mode, uh, showcase that. It adds a ton, a ton of uh, cutscenes. Um, if you like that, it's, it's nice for the first time. It gets you you get some introduction to some things, how they work. But other than that, it's really not worth it. So yeah, and then you're better off playing arcade mode. If you don't really interest in, in the story, just go for arcade mode straight out of the gate. The story mode, it, it, it fits. It's a quirky and a little bit of, you know, but it fits the narrative of the game. So there's nothing wrong with it, but mostly if you know what Contra is and everything, you probably just go for it, go for arcade mode. If you're new, like extra quirky story, let's go for story mode. So extra mode speedrun, I'm gonna showcase the speedrun mode, but it pretty much just shows a timer in the top right corner. This, this is bullshit. This is, this was so un, un, underwhelming. If they would have removed a few extra cutscenes in the speedrun mode, yes, they don't. Let's start with this. Um, I'm gonna... You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna use the Retro Remix because it is much better than the... This one is kind of bland. This is a little bit better and this is much better. So much more better. And I would love to unlock the other ones and do that for sure. He has to listen to them, but for this, I'm gonna showcase this one. It's much better than the original one. They should have made this one. This shouldn't really. It's not necessary to keep this in. They should have just gone with this as the default and added this one as an unlockable. Is good. Um, so in story mode, you can only play this two characters, and then you will unlock more characters that you can play later on in the story mode uh, this two I believe and this ones these three ones I think you unlock later on in the story mode so you can start story mode with one of these then you can swap later on if you die and get the game over you can swap to like these ones later on you can unlock them um, he has a hoover I don't like the hoover so it's not for me and the grab no not grapple he has the hoover maybe has a grapple I don't remember he only have a standard, not a double jump, but he has a normal jump, and a, they they do have a different. You of the like one or two of the weapons are slightly different. I'm not gonna go into details, but these characters have a grapple, but uh, only, but no double jump, which not good. He has a double jump, and she has kind of like a slide thing, 
But she don't have a dash, and the dash is really useful. So double jump and dash, double jump and dash, double jump and dash. I think you can unlock like a grapple ability for this one. I'm just gonna showcase this for fun. Looks a little bit different than the normal character, and I grew up here playing Probotector in the, the EU, so it's kind of a little bit of a nostalgic feeling to me. So I'm gonna go with this one. Not gonna use any grapple thing, and you don't have any perks the first time you play this game. So only, well, you can if you have played the demo. You get a few like 300 credits, and you can buy buy like one perk, um, and you can press x to showcase what they do so i can have grapple here on this character I'm not needing that i can have the hoover on this one i'm not a fan of that but hey that's a push mode thing this is fun things to have even with the different characters they are fun to have um like extra barrier a nice little cool thing to have these are amazing to have retain special weapons up to that this is so good and it's gonna help you a ton Weapon durability, take damage without losing level 2 weapons. These are amazing, also really good to have if you just want an easier experience. These are really useful, especially in the one death mode. You can have auto level 2 and you can have keep your special weapons, meaning that you will have level 2 weapons all the way through. Just really great in one in one death thing, right? Uh, I'm really questioning, I really feel like maybe I should use this. This should be really useful for me. <laughs> this one, if I start struggling when I do this playthrough, I might I might enable these perks. Just to make, make it true and showcase this game a little bit. But I'm gonna start without no perks on anything. Um, start with M, this can be cool, good, but nothing that I'm feeling is useful. Laser, that. Let's no perks. Start off. Yeah, and if I start dying a lot, I might turn those off. They're gonna be really useful. So hard mode, one hit that, no perks. I'm gonna skip cutscenes here. We're just gonna focus on the raw gameplay. So you can hot swap weapons. If I'm gonna use a hot swap weapon, um, I have you know right trigger firing and then X button to swap weapons. I'm not gonna be doing this. I might use this on bosses. What I'm gonna use is I have set, set up a macro. This is a single play game, there's no online leaderboards or anything, so just because I don't want to mash. So if you see this on screen, it's me using this one instead of you can get the same speed by just mashing. I don't wanna cut my hand, so yeah. Full disclosure, just so you know. If you see this on screen, it's not me mashing. I can mash, this is me mashing pretty much the same so this me not mashing yes yes so you know full disclosure i'm i'm might use that again uh just to ease stuff and i'm guessing speedrunners is gonna take good advantage of of that of the mashing and we are not doing this we are not taking a death here Sorry for that, we are not taking that. We are not starting with a death like that. There we go. So, double jump, dash. 360 aiming is amazing. And you can lock your aiming. I want 360 aiming in every run and gun game going forward. Uh, you can also use an overload feature which sacrifices your special weapons. This will... Sacrificing the M will give you a, a protective shield barrier. If I sacrifice the S weapon, it will give me... Oh my god. Trying to speak and do this is uh, challenging. Alright. Sacrificing the 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 super the S weapon gives me uh, like a bouncing wall of the projectiles just going all over the screen. Sacrificing the 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 fire weapon gives me like a shield in front or above, uh, maybe I don't know if you can aim it, but the fire shield 
and uh, sacrificing the lasers gives me slow-mo not for all characters some characters might have a different things um, but for the main characters sacrificing the homing gives me like uh, like fire like a uh, little bit of drones flying and shooting stuff behind me sacrificing the crush or the sea weapons give me some kind of uh, I don't know vortex but I'm not gonna be using those because they don't add anything for me uh, yeah, for speedrunning, I'm, I'm gonna guess that they're gonna use this a lot because it gives you a wall of just extra damage and the crush is really good. Um, yeah, l let's go with that for this. I'm gonna try to play this, you know, just as normal as possible without weapon swapping except for bosses. Um, for bosses, I'm most likely gonna use the weapon swapping. Again, I will not be mashing, I will be using my macro uh, because I don't want to hurt my hands. You can also drop down through platforms by pressing down and jump. Now, if you press diagonally like this and press jump, I'm gonna drop. I'm not a fan of that, I would have liked it if it was only dropping by... whoops. I'm slowing down too much. Yeah, like that. I don't like that. I wish it was only dropping when I press straight down. I accidentally shooting diagonal and want to jump and I've dropped so many times. I had to scratch there. Homing is very powerful, but I don't feel it is more powerful than just what this gives me. You can upgrade Whoop. Uh, the guns. You can only upgrade them twice. And if I upgrade this, I will get, uh, like you see, more projectiles on the screen. The crush will give uh, like a bullet deflecting. This one deflects, uh, kind of makes bullets like spin in, like a, get drawn into that vortex. Which is really nice. Uh, the upgrade the M only gives you like a higher, uh, faster firing rate. So here I'm gonna use my macro um, to not have to mash. If you don't like that, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's just, I don't, I wanna save my hands. <laughs> You can get this same speed without mashing. But you don't need to mash to get this. Bosses yes, are very fast when you use the hot swapping weapons. You might not like it, but it's built into the game, so I'm gonna use it. This is hard mode. It is, you know, one hit kill. I could definitely do runs. I'm probably gonna stream this when I do like normal modes or Maybe hard with health meter and not using weapon swapping like that for fun. But for this and for, you know, the sake of this video and everything, I'm going to showcase this. And this is probably what's going to be used for. This is going to be used for speed runs like hot swapping like this. Um, I am going to try to utilize like... I'm gonna try to use normal swapping during like the main stages. I might in certain places start uh, start using hot swap. Because it is quite tricky and this is a long auto scrolling stage here. I don't want to replay this. Uh...
yeah, I will try to minimize the hot swapping just to really showcase like the normal type of gameplay. It can be quite confusing, there's a lots and lots of projectiles on the screen. Uh, which is like, I like this graphic, it's a personal thing if you like this style of graphics or not, I love this graphic. But it is kind of confusing, there's a lot of projectiles and some bosses that just, you can barely see what's happening on the screen. So it's very easy to get. We also get overwhelmed. But this is a really good combo, but it can be a little bit confusing because the big radius of this uh, explosion does hide the projectiles, especially during some of the more hectic bosses. Um, here we come to the first boss, and I'm gonna use again my macro because I don't want to match. But you can get the same speed by just hot swap mashing. You don't have to use a macro to get this speed. It's just so much more, so much more better for just my hands to not mash. This is a good combo because a lot of lots of projectiles will, will get be blocked by or drawn into this vertex. But don't be too close because you know you can get <laughs> you can get the, the projectiles uh, like spinning and hitting you. So it's uh, yeah, be a little bit careful when using it. It's a really fun game, but it is on the shorter side. If you're playing on the normal difficulty with like a health bar meter, uh, you're probably gonna get get through this game the f even the first time in like somewhere around the, the two hour mark. But the charm in this game lies in replaying it and going for higher difficulties, um, getting better at the game. learning the boss patterns and stuff like that so if you just like to you know play this game once and that's it the price tag of uh, 40 of the 40 euros uh, dollars mark might be a bit pricey i can see that um but if you like contra games like this and want to you know get good at them and replay them Uh, you're gonna have no problem with the price tag, I feel. So this is a section where it can get quite hectic with all of the projectiles on screen. Very easy to get uh, accidentally hit by something. I think it's a shame this game didn't ship with built-in HDR support. It looks... Oh, damn it. There we go. First hit there. Um, unfortunately, because it is quite the hectic scene here. Oh, I did not mean to jump there. Oh, crap. Just before the boss also. Right. But I'm going to add my little hot swapping here. But yeah, this is really nice and bright with the HDR. Don't think that the full effect of the HDR, unfortunately, gets uh, recorded properly. It looks really great in OBS and everything, so hopefully you get a good amount of the HDR effect here. To, uh, you can use uh, like special case if you don't have an NVIDIA RTX graphics card. Uh, but if you have the NVIDIA RTX graphics card, it's uh, really great with RTX HDR upscaling, it looks really nice. 
because yeah, I, um, this game has uh, like 2.5 3D style and he, uh, RTX really makes the projectors and everything oomph up more. There we go, one, one hit only so far, going pretty good. It is the auto run, auto scrolling stages that are the most difficulty. But again, I don't see the point in the speedrunning mode. It's just like the arcade mode, but you have a timer in the top right. So, like, yeah, to me, the speedrunning mode is just weird. So you will pick up. Um, if you pick up, uh, whoa, okay, trying to speak. If you pick up a weapon when you only have, you know, when you don't have two special weapons, it will just pick up the new weapon, swap to it, and you will keep the one special weapon you have. If you have two special weapons like this, it will replace the special weapon that you're holding, and you will drop the one b behind you. Yeah, so you know that mechanic. It's gonna be quite hectic here to try to using this with like hot hot swapping is a uh, super powerful and i can see this being a good speed running options i'm not sure if the speed runners are gonna go for like the crash the crush weapon the sea weapon or maybe the homing with the decent or maybe the laser also and i wonder what combo they are going for i feel the crush might be the oh shit i could not see the Again, the the, um, the explosion did uh, like hide, unfortunately, hide uh, the projectiles there. So it's like barely any time to like dodge that projectile. And that is the problem with this art style. Sometimes there are so much explosion stuff happening on the stage that you just barely can dodge anything. Alright, we're gonna get my first game over. Already, that's uh, unfortunate. I'm just gonna take a game over here. That's fine. So I can get three lives back here. You have unlimited continuous, so you know. It's unfortunate, but it's probably better. Just taking a tactical game over if you start stages with not of optimal lives yeah and i'm gonna try to use minimize hot swapping but hot swapping is a really powerful tool to be used built in mechanic of the game i definitely feel that that's gonna be a key thing for speedrunners to be utilizing you don't have to use it especially not on uh, the normal or with like yeah uh, life bars mode but for one hit kills uh, one hit yeah one hit to death zero kill that was my bad really messed this one up let's power on i guess if i die one more i have to do another tactical quite difficult to do the <laughs> commentating here at the same time but yeah Really useful using the hot swap, I feel, for the one hit, one hit kill mode. And again, probably gonna be utilized. Tactical death here. I gotta, yeah, I'm gonna have to minimize the the, the commentating, unfortunately here. Yeah, hot swapping is gonna be really useful for one one that's you know one hit kill and for the speedrunner so i'm gonna be using that but i'm gonna try to minimize it i'm gonna start here just easy here to get it going here we're gonna just do this just to showcase how powerful it just is even for the basic weapons
this is your first time and you want an easier mode, the homing missiles is definitely going to be a really great tool for you to use. They are quite powerful, they are not like in uh, super weak as in other Contra games. I, I really love this 360 aiming mode, it is such a great, I want again, I want that for all of my <laughs> future, future running gun games. Also, if you have one of the, like my S up there and my M, if you pick up another one, it will upgrade it. It will not replace it. But if you have, if I have, you see, level two of the machine gun there, the M, if I pick up another M here when I'm in the, the S, is my main weapon, it will replace the S, meaning I can dual wield weapons when they are upgraded but if i were to be my m would only be level one and i would pick up another m when i'm in the s mode super weapon here this spread it will then upgrade my secondary to level two and not replace for you to like you need to know this so you can get to know what's happening can be a little bit confusing with the first time before you and I get into it. That is how it works. I'm not dashing a lot here because this is it is a challenging game. That was a laser, so it should be good. Woo. Definitely gonna try like a... I couldn't do anything there. Man, that sucks. Definitely gonna try to do more of a... Speedrunning like the normal mode with health or with more dashing and stuff. Maybe even in hard mode with health mode. A little bit of a slow kill there. We're gonna show. I'm gonna showcase M because I'm gonna be getting M here. Uh, not M, the homing missile, so you can see how they work. Whoa. So this is the charm here with me doing this mode. I'm gonna take deaths and be forced to pick up other weapons here. Showcase, but I think you showcase most of the weapons right now. But spread and crush is gonna be my go to weapon choice. Yeah, I'm gonna take the safe here. Come on. I, these are so bad. Like, they, they can pretty much spawn on top of you without you having any way way to dodge it. Some of a... Uh, should take a tactical death here. Now I can see this, I can use... No, I, not yet. Okay, I cannot call in my pod yet here. Okay, let's do that anyway. So on hard mode you restart the entire level. Meaning I'm gonna be back at the beginning here. But that's why I might use the hot swap or even add some perks later on. Because this is a long way to restart. This is supposed to be challenging here, so... But there are many ways to alleviate and make it more accessible, which I really enjoy. So again, you can get the same speed that I'm getting here by... by mashing. I'm just using the macro to save my hands here. When I get this, I'm gonna try to minimize the uses of the hot swapping. 
I might start using more hot swapping if I start dying too much on the sta stages like this to just get through the stages a little bit faster. Holy hell. Fast reflexes is really good to have in this game. <laughs> so you have a little bit more of enemies and the enemies have more HP in uh, the hard mode. As someone mentioned that there was some difference between uh, um, story and arcade mode and I think the, some of the bosses might have had different attacks even added. I might be right or wrong about that, I don't know, but playing arcade mode, I definitely got the different boss attacks happening, which is interesting. So story mode might be overall just a bit of an easier thing, even on hard. I'm gonna, th I'm gonna have to try that, streaming this, just to see... Oh, damn it, I was almost dodging that. I'm definitely gonna have to try to stream that, just uh, going for story mode hard to see if this is a little bit easier than... Uh... Yeah, I wonder if... If story mode hard is a little bit easier than than arcade mode hard, I'm, I don't know. It might or might not be that. <laughs> but if I die one more time, I'm probably gonna try. Uh, to use hot swapping through the entire stage just to get through it. Or maybe add perks. I don't know. Maybe I should add I don't Oh that one again. That is so bad. Some of these enemy placements are just awful. They will snipe you and you You can't really dodge that the first time. Like unless Messed that one up, all right. I'm gonna get upgraded spread here, I believe. Whew. No, okay, if you get laser here, um. You get spread on the normal and easy difficulty, if I remember correctly. That's also the difference between uh, different like difficulty modes, the, the different weapons you get. You get more, more drops. More weapon drops in the easier modes and different weapon drops. Ooh. So stupid! <laughs> oh, 
I wanted that weapon. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I really would have liked that weapon. Let's see if I can do this boss here. Right, you can call in an extra drop. If the meter there to the left builds up by killing enemies. Let's hot swap here. This is a good combo, so it should be pretty fast. Hopefully I can make it through this boss here with the hot swapping modes. Come on. Oh, come on. Yes. Ooh. This would be a good speedrun combo if we are quick killing the bosses. <laughs> Again, you can get the same speed with, uh, with just mashing the swap button. But I'm using the macro to save my hands. If you don't like this, obviously you don't have to use it. I'm using it just, you know, help with this one hit run here. We would be quite boring to watch. Watch me struggle. I'd rather do that. Like, dreaming would be fun this game. Um, and going for no hot swappings of weapons. But to make this video a little bit faster, it's really good to. It's a good option here to use this. To just make it a little bit of a faster playthrough here. Alright, that's the crush or C weapon up there. To do a scratch. You know, so much happiness, I'm gonna have to pause. Anyone that's doing good commentary and play this game, or I really, you know, get mad respect for that. This is an intense game. I should get my spread back soon here. Yes, I, again, a crush and spread. I think that's my go to combo here for this. Should get my spread back here if I don't mess up. There is enemies dropping here that is quite difficult to dodge. I'm gonna just do a bit of a safety here since I know what's happening here. This is my spread, yes. I like standing on the far here and locking my aim so I can dodge and just shoot this. Because they fall pretty much straight on top of you. Which is, it's very easy to get sniped. They throw sometimes projectiles up above the screen. Like, and then coming I mean, like sniping you down. It's very easy to get sniped. I should have taken a tactical death game over because this boss might be a bit too much to make without losing a life. Uh, try to kill as much as possible. Maybe I can get one more more life if I do not die. The zombies... That sucks ass. <laughs> the zombies... Um, if you don't kill some of them fast enough, will explode and have projectiles. Mm. Oh, this is... Yeah, that's good. Tactically, game over. The fire is not good for me here. It's almost, as you've seen, it explodes there and causes projectiles on the screen. The fire was not the weapon to use in this stage. Yet. It's so easy to get uh, stuck in the ceiling. Or I should have taken the tactical death over just immediately. Uh... uh I probably wouldn't have one shot at the boss anyway, so with like that little just like one life. Alright, cannot get up up there. Oh that was a close one! Yeah, some of the stages can get you killed because you just get stuck in like the ceilings and stuff by default. Whew. 
have my C back. I can get uh, upgraded C going forward. You know what? L why not? We can we can use this till we get the spread again. Oof. And the perspect perspective you can see sometimes zooms in and out. It's a neat effect, but it also can make the game unnecessary difficult in some instances. <laughs> Okay, I couldn't. It was too weak weapon there. There you see the projectors going on top of the screen and almost sniping me. Which is just... Your projectors go to the wall that can be really useful to take out enemies ahead of time. Something for you to really keep in mind and utilize. Gonna take it a little bit slower here because those enemies... Yeah, that that is... Uh, like, the first time you play this, is unless you know what's coming, it's so easy to just get on, like, feel bad snipes. So, you know, it's not a perfect game here, it has its flaws, for sure. You're probably very good off... Oh, I should have been able to grab that. Um, oh, you're probably very good off starting this first place on, the, like, normal or hard with health bar, because there are some snipes happening that you're gonna be asked, Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> If you use a laser, you can pretty much just use a tactic where you stand on top of the this boss. Yeah. Pretty fast doing this strat here also. Seems to be recording fine, everything's good. Whew. My speedrun time is 30 minutes apparently. Again, the speedrun mode is just the don't, don't unlock that. It's a waste of your credits. Unlock that last. This enemy will grab you and you need to like shoot up to get dropped. They try to grab me. Quite annoying enemy. And it can be quite annoying because there's so many of them. Oh, I almost lost there. And they will infinite spawn, so don't try to kill them all not worth it just try to get that past this as quickly as possible and yeah unfortunately th those are quite annoying I'm gonna try to kill a bit of an extra enemy here to make it... Try to not lose any... Any lives here, because this boss I might be able to... Or not be able to, but I might need a bit of a extra life to just power through it. Uh, this is one of my least liked bosses. It's just uh, a chaos boss. It's just uh, too much happening on the screen, too much projectors all over the place, and... The boss, I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna talk more when we get to that, but... You're, you're better off just... Oh, uh, Yeah, standing on the far left on the, the main boss in this... Uh... Oh, that's my bad, I really messed up. Oh wow. Oh this is awful. 
we're gonna well I'm gonna turn on the, this one here uh, this is probably not gonna be uh, good for me wow okay Th that was that looked like it was uh, one of the enemy they grabs you but it was an enemy that normal enemy from the left it's just alien enemy just got me there and again it's uh, it's a good graphic style but it's too much like uncontrolled chaos that can get you unfairly killed sometimes I feel uh, they should have tried to mitigate it maybe minimize some of the explosion and some mitigate a little bit minimize some of the enemy spawn or something like that it's sometimes it just feels a little bit just too, too much craziness So I'm probably gonna use if I die one more time here to uh, probably gonna use the hot swapping thing more. Whoa! This one to just power through this stage, but for now we're gonna try this. I'm gonna try this normally one more time here. Hopefully I don't get sniped like in the previous. Alright, I gotta remember the enemies dropping here in the ceiling. Those one, those can snipe you, so you need to... Be a little bit careful with this weapon. And with the narrow FOV there, like... If you don't know that's coming, it can be quite a brutal. There's things that I don't really find that enjoyable, some of those things. Some of the projectiles and enemy snipes are the, the worst thing about this game. Ooh. All right, yeah, we're not getting that. Um, hopefully, I will get the upgraded crush later on. Even regular crash is really powerful. So, All right, you gotta remember the enemies dropping here. Ooh, like this one if you don't or like the first time you're playing here it's gonna be brutal to try to, to react to that damn it i really should not have tried to go for that You don't have to use the hot swapping for this boss, it's not that powerful. Um, let me showcase that. Not going to be uh, that much faster on this boss. Damn it, I did not see that it was happening. Alright, we're gonna probably gonna have to do uh not have to, but I'm gonna do like a hot swap weapon around here to just speed this up a little bit more. Not certain how do you see uh, fire Okay, okay, so that's, you can tell by the position of the guns there. I need to memorize that. Pointing down is flamethrower. 
I should get spread by the end of the stage anyway, but... So for this section I'm gonna use this because this is annoying. Okay, I messed that one up. The tricky one to get. You also get through this section without uh, unnecessary deaths. We're gonna do the hot swapping of the weapon here. Ah, oh, crap. That was just stupid mistakes of me here. Yeah, I feel it's a little bit too much of these enemies in this part of the stage, unfortunately. Just gets a bit crazy. Now we get to showcase this, the upgraded laser. It's like a nice weapon. It's a... Uh, when you hit things, it will uh, kind of... Whoop! I don't know what you call it, but it will split and uh, hit multiple enemies. Alright, not what I meant to do, but... That snipe. Uh, it's just uh, like the screen is filled with en weird enemies and projectors. It's a little bit over the top. Alright, if I can get a spread, I can get this going one more time. If I lose spread, I'm just gonna be using hot swapping all the time to just try to get through. But if I get spread, we're gonna do this normally here one more time. It is, uh, you know. Sure, they're very challenging, so... You gotta like that, but e you have, the, you know, the health bar mode, which is... Which makes a big... I'm gonna see what happens now. I'm just curious to see if I can do this. Continue, yeah, you can. Good. That's... That death there is just... No. No. I think this can be fun to showcase, you know, the power. It really is a quite a nice little power. This adds like a, a great deal of extra power to your weapon if you can hot swap. I should have gone up. I'm just doing this to get through this stage a little bit faster. I, again, I can't do this without the hot swapping here. It's a bit, it's more like the part with. Uh, The, the flying enemies that grabs grabs me that this is going to be more of a useful thing just easier get a little bit past that stage again you can do this without any macros or anything you're also gonna have to mash a little bit more all right let's go back to normal here again
You are kidding me, man! The hell? Yeah, we're doing this. Ah. They are spawning in, they are barely in the top. Pretty much almost on top of you, it's just. I don't like that feeling. Again, it's not a perfect game, it's a fun game in many ways, but. Come on. And that, that's the thing in later stages also. Where you have enemies just spawning in straight on top of you. I have, like, I was walking like this and in the, the last stage, I think it was, and an enemy just spawned straight underneath me from the ground. And it's like, there's no way for me to be able to dodge that. I have no way of dodging that. Why would you do something like that? It's it's so bad, like... What were you thinking, game? You spawn an enemy right underneath me. There's no way for me to counter that. Like, the first time I'm playing, it's no... I have zero clue how to dodge uh, something like that. And, uh, you know, it's like, I lost, if I'm in the one hit kill mode, I would have lost a life just because I didn't, haven't, have no clue since it was my first time playing it, that there is an enemy spawning there. And things like that I really don't like in games. That you, like, have to remember, just memorize some things, otherwise you will get just will get uh, killed the first time. Hello? And you? And the same thing goes with this, the enemies here that just pretty much spawn on top of the screen just making it brutal to try to dodge them. You pretty much has to learn here, memorize that they will spawn pretty much on top of you. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone for that, but I really like that. Get the laser here. Like, I don't think the crush is the best for this boss anyway, so... Wow! No! Oh. <laughs> I think it's good to showcase this, that, you know, you can get walled and struggle here in this one. And it's very easy, even if you are really good at this game, it's... To have a random snipe happen. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get this walled on this level. This usually isn't as much of a problem. There is a later level that I got stuck way worse on. I was not expecting this level to be this much, especially not the one with like the, the flying creature. I haven't had any any like problem with that level before, so that was a bit confusing to me. So just to not get killed, I'm gonna do this here, by those.
Just gonna take it a little bit careful here. That's that one that goes out of the screen, like... You don't know that's coming. That's gonna be really brutal. And that enemy there, if I didn't have this weapon, I would have gotten killed there. It's just... Nothing that I can do about it. Alright, we are back. My favorite combo. I could just, again, make this, this mode more of a, you know, an easier thing if you want that. You could just add the perks that lets me keep my weapon, my special weapon. It will make a huge difference. Um, so I really like the perk system. They really gives you lots of nice options. They are absolutely, you know, voluntary. You don't have to use them or anything. So I, it just adds a lot of stuff, you know, a new player, or, or, or even if you are, you know, play this many times and just want different experience, it adds a lot of good, good options for you. Let's just do that. Yeah. The first, it gives you lots of different uh, playstyle options, which I really like. Okay, so when it's pointing down, it's doing its fire. Right, remember that. Pointing down, it's doing fire. So, not fire. Fire. Aha, uh -huh, okay, good. Pointing down is fire. <laughs> right, we're learning, we're learning. Not fire. Uh, fire! Damn, I was too close. Okay, so up or project as middle or those one. Okay, so right, we got that one. I should not have died there. I dodged a little bit too late for that. But again, for the boss, I it could be good to not have crash. Crash is faster, but this boss is a little bit uh, crazy. I'm doing this, I don't care, because this section is crazy. I'm not gonna try to grab that S, super spread. Mm. Yeah, your best bet here is to try to just power through this as quickly as you can. Trying to fight this one is going to be worse. I can get my crush back here. I'm going to clear out a little bit of the crazy stuff happening here. Dash here, dash here. I barely saw that one uh, exploding there. Trying to take it both a bit careful and a bit not careful here. That's gonna explode, no? Okay. 
There's gonna be enemies dropping from the ceiling. Oh, right. We have this Sisias. No. Crazy. Oh, don't explode! Don't explode! Ooh, and we are soon to the boss. The question is, I don't know which strat I should go for. Oh, should I go for the safety strat? Should I go for the just the the, the quick kill crazy thing here? This is a good combo for this boss, the S there. Um, let, let's. I'm gonna be stupid. Yeah, I do not like this. There are so much projectiles and everything that just can so quickly kill you. Oh, I got it! Oh, great! Okay. Alright, good, 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 okay. Got good RNG there. Ooh, that was a good first time one no death on the boss. Now we commit an auto scroller here, unfortunately. And for some reason I always almost almost get hit by one enemy here right off the beginning. Yeah, I don't know what hit me there. Um That always happens. Almost 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 always happens. Yeah, we're taking a tactical death over it. Game over here. I don't know what it is, but there's some some projectors hitting there in the in the beginning, and I'm I always is so much in this stage happening that I miss it. I really think they should not have had this snow effect. It's just had it uh, hides it hides projectiles unnecessarily. Um, making this unnecessarily difficult. Just too much easy stuff that can get you sniped here. There we go. I just used the hot swap here to ease things up a little bit here in the beginning. I'm gonna try to not use crazy hot swap in here again. But this is a stage where there is so much like snow effect and there are enemies dropping some enemies you can like the ground enemies don't have hitboxes unless they shoot you know um, to hit you but the one in the air they you cannot jump in if you jump into this one they you know you will get they will kill you which uh, and then you have the snow effect and just too much too much evics here that are just hiding stuff, unfortunately, in this stage. This is definitely when it's come to us crazy projectiles that is one of my least enjoyed um yeah you see that that was the the flying one i cannot jump into but i can jump i can pass the ground one and it's like chaos and then you have the snow particle effects and covering the entire screen Ooh, it's not a good feeling um this is a bad uh, game design of the stage, in my opinion. Yes, way too much crazy particle effects and stuff going in. Like, having to memorize which enemies that you can, like, pass through and which enemies you cannot pass through. And then you have explosions. You know, you have explosions on screen that is hiding projectiles. This, I think, is one of the worst 
levels in the entire game, game design wise. You really should not have made this level this way. Swapping weapons during this stage is going to be really, really like, good. Like, I would definitely see that if it's... I could definitely see the speedrunners in this stage would use tons of, of swapping here. Uh, Definitely having the homing can be a great option here the first time you play through this. Uh, no matter the difficulty to just help you get, get some of the enemies a little bit easier. Um, you can might actually even get to see like... You might even get uh, with the homing get enemies that you barely can see. So this one you can pass through, not the one in the air. And there's also going to be enemies that are dropping down from the train. You cannot hit those either, they, they will have hitboxes that hit you. So you really need to be on your toes here, which enemies can or cannot. This one, if they drop down, they will have a hitbox and hit you. Do you really need to be aware of that? Yeah. Again, I want to really state that I think that this stage has way too much particle effects uh, to be a good one. I don't know if, how much it is that you need to hit that enemy. Continue this stage, but... I'm gonna try to hit him as much as possible. So all the, the hot swapping here has been me mashing, not using any macro or anything. Just to really help with this. Oh, that was a, almost got sniped by a ground projectile that could barely be seen. I don't know if you saw that. Something fired at me. Damn it. Yeah, it's so much particles. Like, I don't even know how to see that. Just crazy amount of particles. Alright, on this one we are going to use this mode. Well, maybe not. I think I might do... Crap. Can get a really nice quick kill going here with the crush. What? Come on! Yeah, there we go. The quick kill. Uh, I can't really lose any more lives. That's gonna be painful. Oh, I should have grabbed that one. But yeah, all the explosions and the different hitboxes and everything is just absolutely brutal in this stage. Uh, 
then with the particle effects also. Again, that's so much happening on the screen. I don't even know what's hitting me there. <laughs> this is just... Yeah. Fun game, this. Again. But I really think that they they beeped up on this stage. They really, really should have toned down all of the particle effects and stuff. Um, this is a weird state where, like... Having the perk shop and enable the perks is just a godsend because it's so easy to just get sniped. And the pea shooter, this is another thing to mention before I continue on here, is so bad it should be taken out of the game. The base gun should be the machine gun. Let me upgrade the machine gun two times. Like, have a base machine gun, upgrade it once, and then two, another time to like stage three instead. Um, because the base gun is so bad, it's just not... don't know why they had it in the game. I'm just gonna be super safe and cheesy here right now. Is it so easy to get sniped? I don't mind using this little extra help for me. Hmm. Um, you know what? I'm I'm even gonna do this. That's You don't want to be too close to that enemy because they can, uh, if they shoot, you know, they will uh, spawn their enemy right above me. This is where the homing can be really, really good. We just again hit enemies that you might not even see or because all of the chaos. But spread and crush is really nice, and you, it's really nice to have the quick crush for uh, for the boss to get the quick kill there. So, would really like to be able to keep crush for the boss, even if it's only level one crush. That doesn't matter. It's just so good for the boss crush. I don't know what hits me there again. I, it's so much chaos. I don't even see what's, what is hitting me. Something just hits me. I do not mind using the hot swap macro here because this is such a crazy part of the stage. Yeah, and you can get this with just normally mashing, so. I do know that uh, some of you definitely feel this uh, 
something that you should not use and I respect that. Right, sometimes there's three dashes, sometimes there's two dashes. Mostly three dashes. Wow, that's not that never happened before. Yeah, the crash is so much powerful here. It's crazy. You know, I'm gonna keep... What? I've never ever seen that hit me like that before in my entire all the playthrough here. What in the hell? I'm gonna keep this swap here, but unfortunately without any extra life, this upcoming boss probably not gonna be happening here. I've never ever gotten hit by the boss ending like that. I did, did have no clue that was possible. Yeah, unfortunately this means that now I'm probably not gonna make the boss area unless I get one HP here. Back. And I'm gonna use this hot swapping because this is uh, not a good stage gameplay wise. Too much thing that just hides what's going on on the screen. You way too easy to get sniped. This is definitely my least enjoyed stage in this entire game here. It isn't as crazy on like easy and normal, but the hard mode here for sure it's quite insane again uh, to just mash instead of using my macro here but I want to save my fingers a little bit Arkham after the boss and which sucks is uh, don't have any life and it's very possible that I'm not gonna be able to one shot this boss. You know, that's key. Okay, one life. Oh, I don't know how I managed to dodge everything going on there. Perfect. Hopefully I get this. Come on, come on. Did I get it? Yes! Oh, that was so close. Yeah, I could have one-shot this if it wasn't for unfortunate spawning of the green sludge there. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so with the, with the crush, hot swap, swap, swapping weapons should be pretty easy to one-shot the boss. Ooh. We are on to the next stage.
Hello? Huh. That was a weird bug. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's never happened before. The hell? How many? What? Okay, tactical game over, but I've never seen the... Okay, this is going to be new for one hit. Kill stage arcade speedrun mode. I've never seen them infinitely spawn like that. What the hell? Why are you turning that way? Huh. Why are you falling down there? That's weird. Maybe, oh, well, maybe that's always been a thing. I don't know. I think I could be pretty good without the spread in this stage, though. Oh man, I messed that one up for so bad. Um, could probably stop going forward here. Okay, that's fine. This stage is definitely very different. I don't know if it is a speedrun mode or if it is the arcade one hit kill mode here. Much more aggressive than uh, the previous one. Let's just use this to just quickly get through this a little bit faster. Not. And nope. I stuck to the wall. Mm. So this is the stage I was more expecting to get stuck. Because there's so much uh, walls that you can get stuck to easily. And so many like... Um, enemy placement that are quite brutal and the flames uh, not the previous one I did not expect to get stuck like I did come on Did I, I press the wrong button there? Man, that's my mistake. <laughs> right, come on. Don't, don't do anything more of these stupid mistakes. Oh, they fire downwards. I did not know that. They could do that.
we're gonna cheese this one out because this is so easy to get stuck in the wall and just like that and that can kill you very easily fortunately Oh, there we go. Need to take a little bit easy here. I'm gonna do the safety strat here. I messed that one up. I could have grabbed that one. That's fine. I use a little bit of a you need to crouch there uh, if you don't and that one slams down it will hit you hello all right we got that one Oh, they know the, no, the bubbles could go all the way up here. Ah, that's me just being stupid. Oh, what? I've never seen the fire going both ways. Wow. This is like a new stage entirely for me. What the hell? So many new things I haven't encountered before. Huh. I was expecting to get a bit of wall on this stage. Not the previous one, unfortunately. In uh, in one hit kill mode. Th this is just... There's so many like, things that can get you. I still feel this is a better stage than, you know, the previous snow stage. Just because, at least... You can kind of see what's happening. And uh, in the snow stage, it's just... Things happen, you can't really see anything. Okay, so when I do the drop, the ascent thing, I might be having to be more careful. Because it seems like the something is different from what I'm used to. Oh, that was a close one. We are gonna take this one out here. Ooh. Oh, you could stand on that. I didn't know that. Ooh.
It didn't double yump. Oh my goodness. It didn't drop. Yeah, this definitely was the stage that just got me quite frustrated because there are so many weird things that happens that you can get stuck on, that you can just... Yeah, lots of weird things that just can go absolutely weird in this stage. Oh, that was so close again. Fortunately, I don't think I can one get both of the bosses without dying, so... This is gonna be uh, quite a rough one to go for. did not know that the bubbles could go all the way here. We're gonna do a safety thing here. Oh, that was so close! my perks on here but yeah this was this first day that when I play this normally in story mode hard with the help meter that I got walled on because you get stuck why are you turning that way what okay so I'm facing this way jump jump just pressing down and it it turns to the left. That is weird. I have to press a little bit diagonal diagonally to the right. I press straight down, it turns to the left, only on the joystick. That is weird. It is the speedrun mode that is just a bit more brutal. Did not remember this one firing? Or if it is the hard mode? The one hit kill mode that gives you this more of a brutal kind of enemies spawn stuff like that. I did not know that this enemy could fire like in free 360 direction either. You know this is quite annoying that they can get up three times in a row.
Yeah, the homing is definitely good for this stage. Not the best for this part. Why are you dropping like that? Did do prefer... Oh, that's a close one. I forgot that you can stand like that. Oh no, I hit that. Alright, that's fine. definitely on me yeah better do that yes and yeah this getting into rough rough territory here <laughs> also hoping it would go a little bit better here on the previous stage that I wouldn't get so many, like, weird, stupid deaths happening. But yeah, th this stage, I was expecting to get walled on this stage because they're so easy to just get stuck on weird angles. Unfortunately. You can get stuck on the wall, you can get stuck on, you know, ledges, on, on like, things to hang on to, and then you have lots of fire and weird stuff that can snipe you. I was expecting to take more deaths than in previous stages, but nope. Yeah. The first lab with the uh, kind of zombies, I was not expecting that one to get me so much. Interesting. I could not. Uh... <laughs> and I need to take take care of that. I didn't duck. Didn't crouch. Damn. I wonder if you could farm lives. <laughs> I just do thing like that. Oh, I should be dead. I 
You know what? We, we're doing this. I, I don't mind. I do not care. This stage just... Rural one. <laughs> I still think that... Uh, me, the snow is just the, the one that's most annoying because it's just too easy. just too easy as getting sniped on that one. Here it's just a bit annoying because you get so much stuck on, on corners. did not know that that plane there was a thing. Maybe it's because I've just gone pretty fast before. Wow! That was a snipe. Snipe. I had no way, no way of reacting to that one. Did not know that you would infinite spawn on me. I don't even think I've seen you guys fire before. <laughs> what? Oh wow, there was an enemy hiding there, okay. Wonderful. Damn it, and there's two bosses in this stage, is this? Yeah. I might have to put on the perks. I don't think this is a great design either. There's so many weird angles to get stuck in again. Too easy as getting some weird enemy reactors or something just firing you from outer space. Jump down, not up. Just trying to focus, not too much comment and comment commentating. 
I would really like to get through this. I need about one life each. Uh, for the bosses in this stage, I feel like. Problem is the drop here that is fortunately quite a brutal one. That just spawned right on top of me. Ah. You know what? We, we are gonna take a save here. Oh. Okay, come on. Right, good, good. That's an enemy that I did not know could spawn there. Okay, that's good. Is there an enemy here? No, okay, we are... Okay, we should be good if I don't start... Uh, Dying like crazy on this mini boss here. Oh crap! Try to duck. No! Don't don't do this to me. Oh, game! I need... No! Break off! Folks! Bad pattern, RNG pattern. Son of a beep! I'm not gonna wanna hit the other boss. Shit! So stupid. Such a bad pattern, so... Oh, well, that sucks, because on a uh, hard mode you have to redo the entire stage, which means it's gonna be painful now. <sighs> I need uh, about one HP for the next coming boss, unfortunately. And... You know that I've got a little bit better RNG there. Yes, I don't have any health bar or anything here. I'm taking this pretty safe as I can. And it's also going to mean I'm going to have to try to really be super safe on the boss. Uh, not sure how well that is going to go. Because I can't take even one hit. I don't think I've ever had one shot at this boss 
Bills coming up. And you guys see us. Be a little bit less annoying. It was annoying that some of these uh, those ones are just above this aiming, which means they will be really, really annoying with 8 bit directional aiming. The pain is real. I knew this was gonna be a pain in the ass. Not this much of pain in the ass. Yeah, man. I I actually feel that um, the stages after this is gonna be easier. This is gonna be the most brutal stage for me. It's a bit crazy. The snow are the most annoying one. This is the most brutal one to just keep dying on for some reason. me I was just really messing up there getting a bit tiring <laughs> with all of this oops yeah that's that's one's gonna snipe me if you don't take that one out continue <laughs> the perks is gonna be really amazing like making this uh, much much easier you want to do one hit and I kill. Some of these really snipe you like crazy. <laughs> Why it's keep turning me the wrong way there?
That's a close one. Here we go. Alright, we're doing good. I, if I can get to the boss again with a lot of life, that would be nice. And not get the bad RNG on it with the attacks it makes. Right, we're gonna do a safety thing here. There we go. Hopefully we can do this. That's a weird and interesting thing. Oh right, the bubble's already here. Okay. Is this one? Oh. Going forward. So far, so good. What? Okay, well, apparently I got. Hit by something. That sucks. Yeah. Well, the spread shouldn't be uh, that crazy for the boss fights. I don't know. There was a power up there. I think it might have been a spread power up, but I don't know where it. Can you guys stop? It? Three times is a little bit annoying error. <laughs> right. This should be good for the boss. Uh, shouldn't be a huge problem. It's going to come down to RNG here. Because some of the projectiles, the level 2 brush or C here can reflect. That again is a bad RNG that he decided to do that attack right straight on top of me. Hmm, yeah. 
probably not gonna one shot the boss unfortunately we're back i got bad really bad rng here on this one it's unfortunate i'm gonna use hot swap here just to get maybe through this a little bit easier here if i can get to the next boss it would be fun you just have this little annoying section with all of this little minions here so annoying that they take so many times to like get up here Boss is just right up ahead here, which again is just... Level 2 laser is so really good in this path here to get a little bit of an extra hits in. Right, and here is the boss. I died previously just before. I don't think I'm gonna one shot this boss, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to see if I can try to be careful. And no. The pain is real. This stage. This is my nemesis this stage. intense game to play for longer periods of time <laughs> that's why i'm starting making this uh... <laughs> these silly mistakes because it starts getting uh, tiresome two hours of this uh, definitely it's quite a lot Again, if I just got perks, it, it, it will be much easier, so it might be... I might turn on perks here, and then I can... Uh, And then turn off the perks. Uh, and turn off the perks on the next stage by us doing a, a bit of a game over. Um, yeah. Because not losing my weapons will speed this up considerably. The bosses and everything. I'm gonna turn off the perks if I game over here. 
Um, I'm turning on the perks, it's fine. It is uh, quite a frustrating little stage here. It's, again, I think it's not as bad as uh, the snow stage, but there are a lot of just those stupid places where you can just get sniped or get stuck to wall that you didn't mean to do and that gets you. So on this one hit difficulty, it makes this stage uh, quite a... Uh, can be a frustrating experience. So, yeah, I'm gonna turn off uh, on why did why did you not dash? I'm gonna turn on the the perks here to make this uh, speed things up a little bit. It should help a lot. Not what I meant to do something crazy there. No, okay, I was thinking about doing something, yeah. I don't think... I was thinking about tweaking my Steam Controller layout, but I don't think that's gonna be make a difference. One little thing I could have done. Make it feel a bit more responsive. So you need to crouch in this that part and don't stand up until the until it's uh, all the way up because if you stand up and hit the roof there it will get you you not need to crouch there Thank you for the though game, thank you for that. Snipe. Wow, the, the enemy on top, I couldn't even see that enemy, it's just... <laughs> yeah, I'm turning on the perks for this stage. Uh, in one hit mode, it's a, it's a bit... Okay, one more try, one more try before do, doing that, I really don't want to... I don't need the perks, but it's... The RNG on the boss and then some just sometimes you just get weird stack or weird snipes that just make this uh, almost artificially hard because it's not because it's not hard because I'm dodging stuff it's hard because I can't see or know what's happening which really is one of the most gross frustrating things in games and Tough stuff can like just get you in that way. One more try, trying to do this as serious as I can. I really don't don't really need the perks. I can just stop getting weird shit happening. Well, that's not what I meant to do, but... Okay, we are restarting re this retry. <sighs> yeah, 
I need to get past this stage. Uh, it's uh, getting tired here with all of this. Hopefully we can get through this now. Other, other than, if not, uh, just, uh, yeah. It's perk, it's perk time and it should be... Still might die, but it should be much easier, so... Like, I wanted to drop down! <laughs> But it, instead, it jumped. It's those little, little minor things that are quite frustrating. And th there are so many places where you can just accidentally grab onto something here in this stage. Or with the crystals, there could be an enemy hiding that is uh, really challenging to spot. It is overall a very interesting stage, it's just that the snipes that happens are something else. This enemies that takes three times to get up. I think they only get up two times in normal mode or maybe it's something like that. And you? There we go. Better bubble pattern. I did not mean to jump there. And uh, again, that's just stuff that happens here sometimes. Inputs, you know, doesn't go the way you want them. And that can get you killed. So many things that just can very easily kill you in this stage. lives we're back trying to is the descending here part i need to really try to be careful take it slow and uh, try to not get sniped and then if i can get a little bit better on ye on the boss will be nice because if i had like one or two lives i should be able to get to it uh, should be able to get through the second boss. It's not... It's the first part that can be a little bit interesting, but the second part of that boss should be fairly easy to go for. That's also a little bit of a weird one, you can... Uh, yeah, uh, double... Mess that one up, the double... Oh, and that snipe from above! Ah! So many more enemies spawning in right now. Perk time, yeah, perk time. Perk, perk, perk. Perk up, perk time, perk time. Yeah, nope, this stage, nope. Wait, what? Oh, I have to equip it by... Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Can I not equip the perks? What? 
Maybe I probably messed up by having to press. I probably had to press out of the perk shop and then into something. Hmm. I guess we're doing one more with hopefully I can get enable the perks next continue here I wasn't exactly sure why it wasn't working I probably needed to go one step further in the sum menu there again I wonder if it is the speedrun mode or if it is the arcade mode That is just a tiny bit more. But this feels like it is more challenging, definitely more challenging than the story. Definitely more challenging with like the boss, with like the spawn of enemies, the spawn of projectiles. I wonder if it is the arcade one hit mode, what it is that makes this. What it is that makes this difficulty this uh, We're good, we're good, we're good. And I messed this one up again. Let's see if I can figure this perk thing up. Right, I got my... You'd probably just stop here. I don't have any life and I'm not gonna one hit like one of the bosses here. I'm gonna get an extra life if I get all the way to the boss. What? I wanted to jump, but I couldn't. All right, let's see. Well, how how is this perked? Can I can I enable perks? Let's try this again. Oh man, I'm really walled here. So if we do this, um, you know what? I can buy some. I want to unlock everything anyway. Everything is 1,000 here. There we go. Right. Huh, no! Okay, so in speedrun mode at least, or in... This. I cannot change my perks. Okay.
I'm guessing speedrun mode might be... Going for a little bit of more of a difficult... Difficulty then. You, you either have to start with the perks or you're not gonna get... Use them. Hmm. Well, I'm a shit out of luck here, I guess. I'm gonna just have to do better. And I'm not doing better. Wow! I was thinking I could do this just in one video here. I might have to split this into two videos. This is uh, quite long, and I don't know for how long I'm gonna be stuck on this one. I am really curious to see if it, the enemy that spawns like this, if this is in the speedrun mode only, or if it is in the arcade hard, with health or with one hit only. Because this is much more brutal than anything that I've done before. I've done, pretty much done all of the, like the difficulties, so... is weird. Oh, okay. You know what? We're not gonna try to speed run this part. I have three lives. How did I get three lives already? Okay. We're doing good, we're taking it easy. To, to, to just to be uh, doing this good. Nice music though. I'm gonna try to see how this is gonna go if I try to take it extra slow here. Um, 
The problem is definitely going to be the boss RNG. You see, if you get good RNG on the boss, the first main boss here, or the boss, you can actually, with level 2 crush, you can pretty much dodge, just stand there, and the crush, or the C weapon, will just instantly, like, make all the bullets just disappear, will just dodge everything. So you can just, with with the C weapon and good on you on the boss, all you need to do is just stand there and firing at the boss, and you are good to go. That is with good RNG. It doesn't seem like the game wanna give me. Why are you... S oh... What weapon is it that? That's the laser weapon. I don't think I can get to that, so... Wow, that's a... Ooh. Yeah, so that's too late. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know where that shot came from. I can't go back. And there was a power up there. I don't know exactly where that power up was. So I only have a chance if I can get this boss without dying, which I'm most likely not gonna be able to do. I'll give it a try for sure. If I get good RNG again, I can just stand here and pretty much annihilate the boss. And I did not get good RNG. And yeah, not good RNG at all. Come on, just get me the beep out of this, man. The boss is fun and everything. It's just the stages with all the weirdness. Things happening. <laughs> Why do I have three lives? Did I? Did the, the perks I buy be get auto equipped or what is it? I should only have two lives, right? But is it that the last perk I bought was an extra life, and now that's whipped? What uh, what what extra perk did I get then? Is 
did only have two lives, right? But did the, did the perk... I, I, because I bought, like, was it... Like, the extra life thing there. Did that get equipped? Automatically? I did also buy the HP, right? But since I am in one-hit mode, did that not get equipped? A bit confused. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused, confused about what happened there. Is it a bug with the perks? Did not get my WM for some reason there. Could have made this uh, one go. Come on, let me get this boss here so I can get to the second boss with like one life or something. I should be able to get that boss. Just the first part of the boss that, it, that is a little bit interesting. Second part of the boss should be should be able to do without taking damage. Whoa, okay, I dropped down. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god. Wow. That is so stupid. Yeah, I'm gonna try something here. This is weird, I can go to the perk shop. Take damage return. And then I can go back. If I go back out of here, it exits. Feel this is a bug here. Well, uh, th this is gonna be split, I guess, in two videos. I need a break from this, so... I couldn't do this today, I guess. This uh, gear... Yeah, this stage, I don't know what it is. I have so many weird snipes and things happening. It just gets me. Especially here with on on this.
we did this difficulty here just just absolutely gets me so this uh thanks for watching stay tuned for uh, part two coming up when i try to finish this uh if i don't get past this in this try i will need a break here so i split this video i did not mean the uh, I don't know, I, I'm very curious to see why if this is the same on all the difficulties or if it is that the speedrun difficulty adds extra like enemy spawns and stuff like that. Because this has been more the brutal enemy difficulty I've encountered before this. The spawns of the enemies and everything. RNG has been really bad for me. This one hit it all the way from there, okay. This is interesting, it is pretty much just the... final part here that's really ascending that really gets me the most here. Yeah, so much sniping going on. Jumped just as and I don't have a good weapon to get through the bubbles. And this was an enemy standing right on top. The RNG is just brutal man. Hell man. Oh the RNG is just brutal here. What? <laughs> 
this is ridiculous okay i'm doing one more try that's the only try i have left in me in this video i i don't even know what to say man this station this Oof. the snow stage is super annoying because you can't really tell because of all the particle effects here it's just weirdness of like the enemy placement and stuff like that they just I really wonder if it is the speedrun mode that makes this just a tad bit more extra brutal. Like you get stuck on walls and stuff so much. Like some of the enemy placements, like they they're not consistent. With how they spawn. Okay, that enemy could apparently snipe me from up above also. I don't know if you saw it, but that enemy there, last one. It actually turned and was ready to charge me, and it has never happened before. Which again just points to that there is so much RNG going on here. It is good that I managed to keep my spread here, but... spread to get through those level one crush is good enough for most of the parts here so I couldn't really see that that's my bad We're good, we're good. I do have uh, two little lives, so yeah. Stay tuned for next, you can leave a comment, a like, follow back, or check back to channel if you don't want to miss my next video, where I hopefully can be a bit rested and get through this stage. Hard mode, one hit kill, the speedrun being activated. And uh, yeah, I actually think I'm gonna do better on the... Oh wow, the other stages following this one. Weirdly enough. It is weird to say, but I think I'm gonna do better on the stages that comes after this one. Too early, damn it. Well, we give it this the best try I can, I guess. Thanks for watching, I'm gonna drop off here, I'm gonna continue this in the next video. 
Thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay tuned for more painful Contra coming right up uh, next day, hopefully. But yeah, have a great day till then, and bye for now.